welcome back everyone. So, if you're reading the title, big pickup, cost me 750 quid. So you're probably thinking, god damn, a lot of money. But there's some awesome stuff here. Um, obviously I put that picture there to hide. What's, so you can't see what's in the boxes. But um, yeah, all sorts in here. As you can probably see right in front of you, uh, there's a House of the Dreamcast gun there. So lots of Dreamcast, Saturn, uh, a lot of Atari stuff, so not my bag, that sort of stuff, but I can obviously move that on. I uh, got this off Facebook. There was a bit of, um, not an argument, but a bit of a upset of how I got it. Um, it was all just a sort of misunderstanding, sort of a mistake on my part. I'm not going to go through that. Uh, chat was called uh, Phil, I think, I can't remember. Um, so it took me about a two hour drive to go get all this stuff. So I thought I'd show you guys, go for each box individually, see what's in there. Um, I know some of the stuff, um, a lot of stuff that I'll probably keep, uh, a lot of stuff I'm gonna sell on. So I come back from uh, the Leeds Retro Fair. Um, so I spent all my profits I made on this lot. So let's check it out. So no particular order, I'll just pick this, this is the first box I picked. Um, Dreamcast stuff. So we've got a very nice green VMU. Don't think that's the original box. I think it should be a white one for that. Um, but still cool nonetheless. Nice box. I could just swap out for a white one. Um, lots of controllers in there. I assume. I'm not sure if there's two consoles or one console in here. So two pads there. Nice condition. Uh, another pad there. The first Dreamcast console. Unless this is that is just an empty box, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, a boxed uh, controller. Another box controller. Very nice. Some leads. So I assume I would go with, with that console I just had. There's two more VMUs there. Um, a slightly yellowed official gun. Called uh, sort of crappy Mad Cats Rumble thing. And mm, seems like there's another Dreamcast in here. So, when I looked at the advert, there was. Yes, there is another Dreamcast in there. It seems there's only one set of leads, so that's not the end of the world. He didn't say whether the... Um, he just said it was all untested, but it had been working last time he tried. So there's one he did say wasn't working. Obviously, I'll point that out when we get to that. On to the next box. Right, next box. Uh, I thought I'd do these Dreamcast games... Um, just because I showed the Dreamcast then. You can probably see straight away there's a nice uh, game there, so get this out of the way. It's just a generic Dreamcast keyboard. We've got a very nice House of the Two um, gun boxed. Not sure if the game's in there or not. Could be uh, in with these. And the games, obviously. So we've got Shemu. Have already had a quick look at this one. It's not the best condition, um, definitely not mint, I know the cases are a bit bust up on that. Uh, original Shenmue, uh, a bit better on that one condition wise, but not, not a minter. Uh, Boogie Heat, got that one, Quite, it's alright game, nice fun game. Uh, one I actually need, funnily enough, and I think I'm down to about, after these ones, about two or three games. Um, Surf Rocket Racer. So I've not played this one, but uh, I have it now. Uh, Vanquish Point. F355 Challenge. Is it a Ferrari? Um, car racing game. Uh, Conflict Zone Sealed. Uh, I just I just bought that recently. Well, not recently, but a couple of months ago. Uh, so now I have another sealed copy of that. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Uh, case donor all day long. <laughs> I think a lot of these will be case donors. Um, Coaster Works. 
Deadly Skies. So I don't want to spend too much time on this because, uh, yeah, ECW, Anarchy Rules, uh, Trick Style, that just looks like uh, the game and the disc in there, uh, the manual and the disc in there, sorry. Uh, Le Mans 24 Hour, uh, Freestyle Scooter, oh that's actually sealed, I didn't notice that. Uh, a nice sealed copy of that, tricky one to find that one. Uh, Ultimate Fighting Champion, Star Wars Demolition, uh, Virtual Fighter 3, oh, that's a nice one. Uh, Bang, is it Bangay uh, O or something? I think that's how you pronounce it. I probably just butchered that. Oh, <laughs> that's another one I need, actually. That could take me out of the one game I need, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, but I actually need this one, funny enough. The most common sports game on the Dreamcast, probably. I uh, actually need that one. Um, 18 Wheeler. Ooh. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Like I said, this is the first time I've really looked for it. Like I said, I've only really took the lid off. A sealed uh, Metropolitan Street Racer. That's a very good game. I enjoy that quite a bit. Another sealed one. Uh, Jet Set Radio. Awesome game. Probably one of my favourites. Um, Sega Rally. Oh my, there's another one I need. Uh, Revolt. That could be... Have I done it? Is that all the Dreamcast games? It could be. I'm trying to think. Um, Dynamite Cop. That's quite a sought after one as well. Uh, unfortunately, no back. That's a shame. But uh, it's got the front disc, so it had a little bit of value in it. Uh, Crazy Taxi. Incredible. Tomb Raider. Uh, everyone's favourite. Ch -ch Rocket. Iron Ace. Uh, Racing Simulator. You can probably all see these, what they are, as I pull them out, but... Uh, Red to Rumble. Two. Snow Cross. Shadow Man. Soul Fighter. F1 Grand Prix. Sonic Adventure. Suzuki All-Stars. Pod 2. And Toy Racer. So, on the whole, so far... And quite a nice selection of Dreamcast games there, I, if I may say. Um, some surprising ones, because then I needed four... I, I, like I said, I'm not sure. That could be the full set. Oh, no, 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 it's not. I could, I could be down to one. I think it's NBA 2K2. It's quite a pain in the ass to get. So, yeah, Dreamcast stuff done, unless there's some in another box. Like I say, I'm not 100% sure on what's in all these boxes. Um, the pictures were a bit, um, they weren't the best, um, so yeah, on to the next box. Right, so the next box um, looks like a right mixture of stuff in here, um, some American games, ooh, like I said, even though these are in here, um, we've got the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse, sorry the focus is not the best on that. There we go. Oh uh, yeah. Um, Secret of Evermore. That's quite nice. Obviously it's American, so I'm not sure on the value. Um, kick off <laughs> the Nez. Uh, Barbie. Uh, goal. Hold oh my god. Uh, Super Mario RPG. That is a nice one. Um, I've already got this one. But it could be a label upgrade on mine, so that's quite nice to find in there. Uh, the Simpsons Bart's Nightmare. Uh, where do I go? What do I do? Um, a King Kong Jungle LCD Pocket arcade game. It's kind of cool. Um, that looks like a Smash Bros. Uh, sweatband for when you're getting sweaty while playing Smash Bros. <laughs> Uh, what else we got? A oh, it's like a mini Famicom a keychain. Um, Breath of Fire, Dragon Quarter. A copy of Croc Two, I think. Yeah, oh, there's something else in there as well. <laughs> no, just that. Uh, Ducati World. 
just a load of random discs. I'm sure there's nothing great in there. Uh, just look like a load of PS2 games. Yeah, nothing standing out there to me. And we've got a Wiimote tin. Can't open it. <laughs> um, that looks like the receiver for a wireless pad for the um, snares. So, not sure if they're in there. Afterburner for the it's one of them Tiger Electronics handheld games. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another American game in here. California Games 2. A Wiimote with Japanese symbols on. Is that a Japanese Wiimote? Is that how they were packaged in Japan? Maybe? <laughs> um, Metro Prime Zero. That doesn't look real. It's fake. Yeah, it's just a, a fake copy of Metroid Zero Mission. Uh, Donkey Konga, the hottest hits. Oh, there's one of them wireless pads. I've never actually used one of these, but feel too bad. Take the back off. Yeah, they're quite nice. I guess there's another one in there somewhere. <laughs> it's a Wiimote keychain. Yeah. A Princess Peach. It's a Toad and a Luigi. A uh, Yoshi. Um, a Mario. Oh, yeah, there's the other one. Very nice. A copy of Super Buster Move. Looks a little fake. I'm not sure why you'd fake a game like that. But who knows? Um, a NES Max pad. Is that still? I think that could be broke. I'm not sure. I guess that's not supposed to be loose. <laughs> All sorts of ting in here. We've got a NES pad. We've got a. It's like a. I know NES pad, but it's like a dog bone retro, retro link pad. I'm not sure what that is. Here's another one of them pads. Again, the D pad is. Whoever I can fix that by taking it apart. Oh, another American game, Outlander. Um, so Commodore 64 games, again this is definitely not my bag, but Pipeline, Star Race, Spooks, Duck Shoot, Cave Mania, interesting, a copy of Super Mario Land, what is that, it's like a little holder for a DS game, uh, Alien attack. Interesting. I'm not sure what this power thing's for. Maybe there's something in here for that. Um, oh. A Commodore 64 30 game in one joystick. Super, no repeat. That is a fake game. Uh, Metal Slug Advanced. That actually looks legit. Maybe. I'm not sure. Could be fake. They all seem a bit fake. Oh, another keychain. We've got a, a DS Lite keychain. Oh, it even opens up. How cool. Sorry if I'm waffling on. Oh, a case for a Wii U. That's kind of cool. I've been using a laptop um, cover. Just uh, on mine. Could definitely keep that. Uh, Knights of the Republic. This is a right random box of stuff. Uh, yeah, another fake game. <laughs> another keychain. It's like a mini Famicom cartridge. I wonder if that slots into the Famicom keyring. Um, another C64 game. S uh, Star Run, is it? A Superboy. Okay. That's kind of cool. I wonder if that plays uh, American and PAL. I guess it would. That's pretty cool. Uh, Dan Dare. Oops. Um, a Munchman. 
Okay, it's not one of them. So this is some of this is definitely not my sort of bag of stuff. I'm not. We've got a Grandstand Firefox F7. It's cool. These are just some pamphlets and stuff. Yeah, some postcards. Animal Crossing postcards. It looks like a catalogue from the Nintendo store. Cool. An interesting box of stuff there. Um, highlights, I'd say, the, the Super Mario RPG and maybe the Secret Evermore. Um, it's kind of cool. Some cool stuff in there. On to the next one. Right, next up. Saturn. Um, I believe I've had a quick flip through these games. Um, it was a while ago, so I can't actually remember what there is. Uh, hopefully something nice. Uh, love the Saturn. Um, yeah, so straight off. Actually, a 3D um, pad there, but it's white. So I assume that's a Japanese one. Uh, that looks like the cable for it. Uh, the light gun. Um, two, oh no, sorry, a Mark II pad and a knockoff Mark II pad, you could say. Um, a Mark I pad, which I actually prefer. Don't, don't get the pitchforks out. Just saying, I think I prefer that one. A <laughs> uh, Saturn, uh, with back, the backup memory in there. Like I say, it might not work. Um, this is the Mark II, I believe. I think the Mark I has the shiny bit of plastic there. And the games. So there's a couple of smaller ones here. Uh, Virtual Cop. Uh, Virtual Cop 2. Bootleg Sampler. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, not, actually, that is uh, very handy. Uh, Nights, I've got the 3D controller without the game, so that's actually really handy because I can go in there now and I can complete that. Very nice. And onto the games, I don't think, like I said, I don't think there's anything too great here, but um, yeah, like I said, I don't think I have, mo I have most of these games. So we've got a nice copy of World Cup Golf there, very nice spinage on that one. Uh, Independence Day, I think I need that one. Not going to open these all up. Um, another one I need, Sega Touring Championship, very nice condition. Um, Jurassic Park, uh, Sega Ages, I don't know if I need Sega Ages, and that is a very nice copy. Uh, I think I've got Jurassic Park. Uh, Athlete King, another one I need, again, very nice condition. Uh, Grid Runner, uh, that's actually funny because I nearly bought that in CX the other day. Um, open it oh I can't open it there we go yeah um, and I didn't buy it I think it was 12 quid because the spindle thing here was actually snapped um, so I was like ah I'll leave it so nice spine it's a bit of wear on the spine but you're going to get that with them uh, Mortal Kombat a uh, bit beat up uh, do need that one so again I might keep it I can always uh, upgrade it later upgrade it later um, I've just bought this one, funny enough, from CX a couple of days ago, uh, Daytona USA Championship Edition. Um, but mine um, is actually the uh, plastic case, so um, yeah, if there's a plastic case version, I, that's normally the one I'll try and get. Uh, I know some people collect both, you know, each their own. Uh, Virtual Fight 1, I think everyone's got that. Uh, Virtual Fight 2. That's quite nice. Uh, Pansy and Dragoon Saga 2. Uh, Saga 2. Pansy and Dragoon 2. Um, yeah. Nice conditions. These fuck, I hate these fucking cases. Fantasy World. That looks like the Forbidden Planet um, uh, thing, which you sometimes see on uh, Another World, is it? I can't remember. The old. Uh, when uh, Forbidden Planet used to sell games. Uh, Sega Rally, awesome game. Oops, I'm over. A really beat up copy of Primal Rage. Um, that is some serious uh, wearage there. 
and um, probably won't keep that one although i do need it but it is really be up uh wipeout very nice another one i need keep that spine's not too bad on that one uh alien trilogy again another one i need uh world uh sega world cup soccer knife eight Seven Firestorm Thunderhawk 2. I think I need that one. Uh, Victory Doll uh, Olympic Soccer, not the best copy. Looks like someone's ripped the hang tab off that one. Uh, another copy of oh no, sorry, this is 97. Um, I do need that one. Pelters all that in one go. Actual golf. Uh, Street Racer and um, Superbike TT. So yeah, not a bad selection of Saturn games there. Um, nothing like no heavy hitters really. I think the best ones probably Panzer and Dragoon. Yeah, Panzer and Dragoon Two. Um, but yeah, like I say, Saturn stuff's always on the rise, so quite nice to get a you know uh, a bulk lot of Saturn games. You could say. On to the next box. Right, looks like this one is uh, mostly Mega Drive Master System. We'll see, let's dig in. Uh, Yogi Bear, Cartoon Capers. Uh, that's actually quite a nice copy. I think I need that one. Uh, Pinocchio. Andre Agassi, Tennis. A bit beat up that one. It's all there. Oh, it's a Master System game. Look like a Mega Drive game when I picked it up. Uh, Power Monger. We've got two um, Mega Drive pads. This is a Super Scope. Oh, sorry, you know, it's a Menacer. That's silly of me. Get out of the way. There's the receiver. Scopes for it. Okay, we've got uh, some wireless pads again. With the thingy, I assume the Mega Drive. Yeah, two wireless pads, for Mega Drive. Very nice. Uh, Wimbledon. Could need that one. Uh, Rambo. Markman Shooter, Trap Shooter, Safari Hunt. Speedball. Global Gladiator. Uh, Premier League Manager. PGA Tours Free. Seeing much expensive stuff in this one. Uh, Ram Rampart, is it? Uh, Rugby World Cup 98. Uh, Kid Chameleon. That's a good game, actually. Oh, that's nice condition. Uh, definitely keeping that one. Uh, the Menacer game. Balls. Big sweaty balls. Olympic Gold, Sport Talk 93, Rescue Mission, uh, Tasmania, Kickoff, um, win Winter Olympics, uh, lots of loose cards here. F-16 Fighter, Action Fighter, Trivia Pursuit, Basketball Nightmare, Aztec Adventure, and nothing amazing. Um, Captain Planet, uh, everyone's favourite Shaq Fu. Doublehead, AA Sports Game, Aquatic Games, uh, Taz Escape from Mars, Rise of the Robots, um, James Bond was having the jewel. NBA Jam, Batman Returns, European Club Soccer, uh, yeah, Soccer, NBA Live ninety six, uh, Hockey ninety three, Dynamite Heady, uh, Alien Storm. Kazas. Kala, ugh. Kawasaki, uh, Tailspin, 
F22, NHL 95. Uh, so there's a six button competition pro pad there. Nice condition box one. A Maverick free quick shot. I believe that must be for the Mega Drive, is it? Doesn't actually say what it's for. Uh, a couple of manuals here. Axe the Kid, Basketball Nightmare, Action Fighter. Uh, it's just like, oh, it's the Menace of the Book. A Mega Drive thing. A secret bit of paper. Interesting. Looks like cheats and stuff. So there we go. Not a uh, super interesting box, but you know, some right bits to fill out my collection. On to the next box. Right, little box of Mega CD stuff. I knew there was some Mega CD stuff, I'm not 100% sure what games are actually in here. Um, so, Star Wars. That's gone up quite a bit recently. In fact, all Mega CD stuff's gone up quite a lot. Um, NHL Hockey 94. Uh, Night Trap. Quite a nice one to find. Um, you, you box standard Thunderhawk, um, Sunset Riders box, no, no game in it. Uh, Road Avenger, everyone's favourite. Sonic CD, Cobra Command, and Soul Fins is it? Sherlock Holmes and the classic arcade collection. Amiibos in there. Uh, Kirby, Princess Peach, and a, what's he called? Greng Ninja, is it? That's how you say it. What the hell are these? I have no clue what these are. Are they GameCube disc holders? They're like disc holders, but I'm not sure. Okay, there's some magazines at the bottom here. Oh, just a couple of retro gamers. And there's one more stuck at the bottom there. So yeah, let's say there is a Mega CD2 console somewhere. Uh, that's the one he said was not working properly. But yeah, smaller box there. On to the next one. Okay, so it looks like a box of well, there's a Mega CD, uh, a Mega Drive 2 in here. Um, looks like a load of leads and stuff. Like a load of cheat books and stuff. Does it interest me? Right, we've got two paddle controllers for the Atari. Oh, there's an Atari in there. Oh, two Ataris. Uh, sorry about the clanking of these two more paddle controllers. Uh, Mega Drive controller. We've got a Atari joystick. It's actually nice condition. Normally they're all beat up and ripped. Another Atari. Two more Atari controllers. Another one there. Starcade. Video touchpad. Not no clue what that is. Two of them in there. We've got a transformer, I think. Not, I don't know about my toys. Oh look, a Wii game. Uh, Mike Fitness Coach. What a nice surprise. Uh, another Atari pad, I assume. We've got a 7800. Nice condition. Uh, it looks like PAL leads in there. Okay, it's two of these. I believe these can be quite tricky to find, these ones. Um, I'm not sure what they came with, but uh, supposedly, especially the stick in these which screws on and off, can be a pain to find with them, so there's two of them in there. Uh, and obviously the classic 2600. So yeah, another little box of goodness there. Um, I'd say Tari stuff, not really my sort of thing. Um, I think Atari Jaguar, Atari Jaguar is the only thing I really collect Atari wise. Um, so like I say, 2600 stuff just does not interest me at all. Uh, but I know there's quite a bit of that. Um, so yeah, on to the next box. 
Okay, so who's clued up on the Super Famicom? Because I ain't got a fucking clue. Uh, a little box of Super Famicom games here. There's a Disney Infinity figure there. Um, there's a Wii box. Um, it's quite a tricky one to find uh, in this design. I think I had one and I sold it. Because um, it was sealed. Uh, no game in that, but I can source the game. I'll probably keep that. Because I do like Resident Evil. So that's quite nice. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, Famicom games ain't got fucking the foggiest. And I assume most of them are in... Uh, um, although that one does look familiar, I think that is uh, Shigami Tensei 2. I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, so, uh, i say no clue what these ones are. Uh, that one's actually sealed. Whether it's the original seal, I don't know. Uh, Last Bible 2 or 3, that one's actually in English. Um, Ultima 5, is that? Yep. Uh, 4, I believe, actually. Is it 4? Yeah, 4, sorry. Uh, no clue what that one is. Excite Stage 94. Parlor, is it? Say, I'm sure someone can help me in the comment section um, what some of these games are. Uh huh. That looks a bit like a Shigami Tensei title, but yeah, that could be the first one, is it? Looks like it, could be wrong. Uh, that is the game I had earlier on uh, American SNES, I think. Was it Mac Mickey's Quest or something? Not sure. <laughs> uh, volleyball, I guess that is. Uh, beach volley. Uh, another Atlas title there. Again, could be, who knows of Atlas. Oh, SimCity. There you go. There's one I can read to you. SimCity. <laughs> uh, all nice condition. So, yeah. Like I say, it's not my thing. Super Famicom. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments if there's some there which are more desirable than others. I don't know. Yeah. And now we're on to the last box. And this is the big one. Um, yeah. So, hopefully I can fit in frame. Um, it's... Ridiculously hot in here. Uh, I shut the windows because the road outside was uh, distracting me. So I'm melting. It's the Blast Furnace. Two to UK's favourite saying, the Blast Furnace. Right, we are back. Final box. And it looks all like Atari stuff. There was two consoles in there. I'll show you them last. Uh, like I said, this is not my sort of thing. Uh, hopefully this won't take too long. <laughs> I'm just going to start grabbing them and showing you really quickly. Uh, Defender 2, by the handful, uh, Roadrunner, Star Raider, Ghostbusters, Crystal Castle, Frostbite, uh, Phoenix. So varying conditions on these ones. Some are not best, some are alright. Okay, there's a big wad of manuals there for, I guess, for some of the loose carts. Uh, bump and jump. Demon attack. Basketball. International soccer. Outlaw, Kung Fu Master, Goddamn Kids Outside, Shut the Hell Up, This Is Important, The Kids Of Nowadays, Okay, uh, Meltdown, Volleyball, These Are Weird Boxes, Are They Supposed To Be Light Grey? Damn, there's a lot of stuff in here. 
Oh, a sealed copy of tennis. It's sealed. Hooli, is it? Adventures on GX12. Uh, worse for wear copy of Street Racer. Space Invaders. Double Dragon. Phantom Phaser. Mouse Trap. Battle Zone. A sealed copy. A sealed copy of Kangaroo. Box is a bit squished. Uh, rock and Rope. Tomcat. A. Okay, it's not sealed. Uh, cross. So I can't, even read, I can't even see the writing on that. Let me know what that is. Oh, there we go. Crossbow. Couldn't read the writing on the front. A tar that looks, as I said, that looks sealed, but it's not. Uh, Asteroids, Super Breakout, I know that's pretty common that one, maybe. Uh, Telegames, Armor Ambush. We're still going, we're still playing more in here. Okay, a sealed copy of Double Dunk. A Beat up copy of Missile Command. Uh, a sealed copy of Miss Pac Man. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I'm gonna die in here. Uh, Solaris. Galaxian. Combat. That's pretty common, isn't it? I think. Uh, another sealed one. Football. Box is a bit squashed. A little bit squashed, to be fair. Oh, two more sealed ones again. Bit, bit crushed. These are a uh, sealed jungle hunt and a sealed battle zone. I'm running out of space. Oh, uh, air sea battle. I'm breathing really heavy. Heavy. I do apologise. Uh, a sealed copy of Joust, but. Looks like someone's been chewing on it in that corner. So yeah, still sealed though. Sealed. Uh, a sealed copy of Junior Pac-Man. These all seem to have the same, like here, it's really warped. I don't know that's because it's been in the seal so long. So I've warped it. A uh, sealed copy of Venture. Again, it's got the Boeing at the back. Uh, sealed one again. Joust. Did I just have Joust? Yeah, another sealed copy of it. Two sealed copies. Oh my god, there's some guitar stuff in there. It's crazy. Uh, maze craze. Skiing. Chop command. Asteroids. So I put them on the floor now. Yars Revenge, Centipede, um, another copy of Centipede, different label. Millipede, Space War, uh, Kangaroo, I think I had that one earlier, uh, Riddle of the Sphinx. Space Invaders, Berserk. Fox is so deep. Peel Soccer. Another copy of Joust, not sealed that time. Uh, Decathlon. And Crystal Ca Castle. I had the one earlier as well. Unless these loose carts go in the boxes, that could be a possibility. Okay. Frogger. Uh, 
Um, these aren't for the twenty six hundred, are they? Not sure. Could be. I'm sure, the different shaped ones are for different consoles. Amateur Strategy X Breakout and Video Olympics. Like I say, this stuff is doesn't really mean much to me because I don't really flex Atari. But uh, Pac-Man. Commando, Circus Atari, and Dig Dug. We're still going. Okay, golf, kaboom, tennis, and firefighter. So many games for the Atari. Crazy. So I think these box ones do have the game as well, I can feel it. Uh, Night Driver. We're back to some box ones. Uh, Donkey Kong Jr. The original shrimp wrap on. And uh, Xenomorph. That box art. That box art is cool. I mean, the game looks like trash, but you know, I don't know. I don't play these sort of games. Not my sort of team. Uh, two more loose ones, Defender and Star Voyager. Oh, there's another one there. Haunted House. Sealed. Baseball. What's that? Galaxian. Another card, I tried that earlier. Uh, Hatrick. These are all sealed again. Oh, the sweats are dripping off me. Another loose cart. Pole position. Ooh. Two more sealed ones. We've got Dig Dug, sealed, and Asteroids, sealed. Oh, they're for the 7800. Maybe that's what the different cartridges were. Amateur, off the wall, sealed. And jinx sealed. So these boxes are pretty, pretty crushed. Not going to win any awards for minty copies around here. Uh, Miss Pac-Man sealed. Again, I think I had a sealed copy of that earlier. Gallagher is it? I think sealed. Pole position sealed. Dark chambers sealed. Gravitar. Sealed. I've run out of space to stack all this stuff up. We're nearly there. I can see the bottom. Ball blazer. Sealed. Super football. Sealed. Uh, pole position again. Sealed. He likes his doubles. Ugh. Made it. What is that down there? Um, moon patrol. Cosmic Arc, another copy uh, of Dig Dug, and another copy of Pole Position. I thought that's Pole Position 2, I'm not sure if that one earlier was. Uh, oh, okay. We've got TV Games 15 in there. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, and some PS2s in there. Two fatties, two fat PS2s, and uh, yeah, I'm back in there. and the cable for the TV <laughs> for it. What is that down there? Oh, it's just uh, some instruction books for various things. So, yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, sorry, yeah, I was gonna show you these actually. Not gonna get them out because you know. Right, and in there, at the bottom, I took, these are sort of on the top, I got it in frame, I can't get it in frame, but it's a Mega CD2, uh, they said it doesn't work, it says it doesn't read the disc, so it's disappointing, but, uh, say, I suppose it's all boxed, it's got its manuals and stuff, so, for a spare, spares and repairs, get a bit for it, and last but not least, this is a keeper, this is definitely a keeper, a boxed master system, 
and this is the uh, Masterson Plus set. Comes with Hang On and Safari Hunt. And two pads. And the gun. So that's quite nice. So yeah. Sorry about the camera work on them last few. Amateur! So that was that. That is everything. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh, I'm going to open the window. It's so hot in here. So yeah, anyway. All that was £750. And just going to get a drink. Okay, yeah. So all that was 750 quid. Now the story, which I was going to mention at the start, but I thought, you know, I'll show you the stuff and obviously now you've seen it all, you can either turn it off or hit, listen to me waffle on for 10 minutes now. So it was advertised for 800 quid. The ad popped up about, about one in the morning. I just happened to be, I just happened to wake up, grab a drink, or check Facebook, you know, as you do. And um, yeah, this ad popped up for all this. He had up for 800 so I sent him a message saying, oh, I can pick it up next week, um, but I can't. Um, I think it was a third, and it was a Wednesday. Uh, but we were flying to Poland on the Friday, so I was like, I'm not sure, I have time. No, sorry, we were flying to Poland on the Thursday. Uh, so it's Thursday morning, this popped up. So I was like, uh. so I sent a message going, look, I can pick this up next week. Uh, but I'm definitely interested in it. Um, and he said, what about it? saying, yeah, if I've still got it next week, you won't have to come get it. So I was just like, okay, well, like, we're definitely gone because I think it's worth that. So I sort of ummed and ahed on it. Um, and then I woke up for work and I sent him a message saying, oh, if you still, um, if you've still got it, I can come pick it up later. Um, 750 quid cash. And I just left that post on there. Um, didn't think anything of it. I think a couple of the people uh, messaged him saying, you know, they can come pick it up and stuff. And then it got to about tw uh, about 11 o'clock and I hadn't replied and I just thought, oh, you know what? I was getting a bit um, uneasy because I thought, you know, I don't want to get home and he's still not messaging me back. So I deleted my comment because I thought, you know what? I ain't going to have time to go get it. Deleted my comment for it. Um, just left it. And then a couple hours later, he messaged me um, through private message going oh yeah I've still got it uh, there's a couple of people interested but you were the first one to say you wanted it I was like okay um, if you still want it you can come get it so I was, I was like okay and I said you sure you want to sell it to me because I don't want to drive two hours and get there and you're like oh someone's offered me more and he said no 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 it's fine you know you, you were first so I was like okay so I got home jumped in my car drove down there so it took about Two and a half hours. It was just on the outskirts of Wales. So I'm in Leicester. So yeah. So hit a bit of rush hour traffic. Got there. Um, really nice bloke. Uh, I think he said he was just he just focused on Nintendo now. He was just sticking to his Nintendo stuff. Obviously there's some Nintendo dabbled in here. But for the most part it's Atari and Sega stuff. Uh, I think he had, a, he had a GameCube kiosk in his house. Which I was like, ah, oh, if you want to sell that, you can sell it me. But uh, yeah, I got there and he was just like, oh man, it's blew up on Facebook. I was like, oh, what's going on? He's just like, oh, he's like, because I sold it to you, um, everyone's kicking off. I was just like, oh, why? He's like, because you, you didn't, because we didn't do the deal on the thread. I was just like, didn't we? He's like, no. I was just like, I was like, oh shit, I deleted my comment earlier. And I was just like, oh, for fuck's sake. So I supposedly... Um, got a bit heated on there supposedly people kicking off going what the fuck I mean he was he was a new it was like his first listing on there so you got to give him some slack for that um, like I say um, but what really annoyed me was uh, people like were posting his address on there going oh we should go around and speak to him I'm just like speak to him about what it's his stuff he can sell it to whoever he wants um, so fair enough yeah some you could call me a backdoor but uh, yeah it was my mistake, to be fair, doing that. But uh, yeah, really nice bloke. Um, just a shame people will have to take things to the next level and like, oh, let's go around his house and, and do what? You know what I mean? Um, and I think the admin re uh, deleted all the threads. So if you try and find it, you won't find it because uh, obviously they took it off because people will get in the arse. So yeah, so if you're watching this, if you're that person who um, was going to go get I, I apologise. But uh, yeah, 
so yeah, there you go. So we're at 50 minutes. Holy fucking shit. Actually, I've not even had the intro on. So yeah, it's a long one. If you're still with me, thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my uh, terrible camera skills. I'm sure there would have been a better way to approach showing all this stuff. Um, but I'm currently at my girlfriend's house. Let me pan this. So you've probably seen it anyway. Look, there's my uh, uh, there's Archie's crib. Um, spin it around. Uh, there's this changing mat. I just stacked all that stuff on there. Uh, that guitar I threw was with this bundle, but I thought I don't need to show you that. Yeah, it's just stacked up everywhere, all the stuff. And you're probably wondering, why is it not my, at my house? Well, that's because I've got no room at my house. So, here it is. Here it is! And I was super happy when I rolled all this stuff in my car. Because uh, I just got a new car, so obviously much bigger than I had a Corsa before. And I've got a Kia Sportage, so much bigger car. Uh, much better for pickups, yeah, and all that ting. So like I say, hope you've enjoyed this. Um, hopefully you're still here, listen to me waffle on about shit. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you, goodbye.